for this next video on the uh, Chaos Warrior, I'm going to take and paint all the browns, the belts, the boots, the cloak, nothing really exciting, just blocking it all in, kind of cleaning it up from all the silver that's been run all over. This right here will definitely give you some good um, ideas of what this thing is going to look like once it's finished. Just take your time when painting. Makes it look a lot nicer if you just take your time to get all the details in there. Cover up things that need to be covered up. Don't go through and start covering up all your hard work when it comes to you know all the rust that you just put in there. Get it right up next to the armor. Get the top of the boots, underside of the boots. I like to do a really detailed paint job when it comes to that. I don't like to leave any black spots where it should have been painted. I just don't think they look good. Of course, you're not going to have people, you know, running over and picking up your miniatures, so it really doesn't matter. It's up to you. I'm one of those people I can't take and play an army on the field unless it's totally painted. I like the way it looks, and I really like to show off the the painted army. You get a lot more uh, oohs and ahs than if you just took and broke it out of a box or a blister and put the base on it and started playing it. There are people that just like to paint, and there's people that like to play, and then there's people that they like to do just a little bit of everything. This one painting right now is just going to be the darker browns. I'm going to get into all the nooks and cra uh, cracks. Um, you can see that I used the uh, chaos spawn bits. This is one of the, the arms of the tails. And then this is the uh, slanish style head. I took and um, decided to start using that on the chaos warriors. They look really good. You have to work on them a little bit, get them to fit in the right spots. But once you have, they really do look good. You can see that that dark brown makes it look really nice. Some people go with different colored capes. They'll go with grays and whatever else. It's all the same when it comes to how you want to paint it. You know, you basically want to go a dark color, then a medium color, then a highlight color makes it look a lot more realistic, makes it look a lot more like fabric, and it really shows off the detail of the miniatures. Games Workshop really did a good job when it came to the, uh, the Chaos Warriors. They made them so they actually rank up now. With this guy here, I took and made him so he could actually be a champion, or he could just fit in as one of the normal guys in a unit. just depends on how, uh, how you want them to look. And what kind of attributes you give them. Now what I'm going to do is go from the dark to more of a reddish brown. Kind of mix them together. I don't like to stair step it too much to where you got one stripe and another stripe and another stripe. Sorry about that. I like to take and give it some detail and make it look like it's a flowing fabric. You want to pick out the highlights like of the boots. You don't want to paint the whole entire boot and you want to still have some of that dark brown popping through. So you're basically just hitting the highlights of the boot bringing the detail right down into it. Remember not to touch it when it comes to anything but the brush. Now, I paint primarily um, fantasy miniatures. I do paint some 40k here and there. Um, that's definitely where my uh, abilities are, is the fantasy. I really enjoy painting them. I can usually paint a 2250 point army in roughly about 3 to 8 weeks. And that's, you know, very nicely detailed and uh, all that. 
I do paint miniatures for people all over the world, so it's n it's a uh, no big deal if you if you have an uh, interest in having an army painted for you. Some people they just don't get into the painting at all, and that's totally fine. I'm into taking money as as much as I can get it, and I do have painting prices on the uh, website, or I should pretty soon, and that will show off. You can see that it's got a real shiny, wet look to it. I'm kind of moving fast through it, so it's kind of gonna have a couple minutes. It's gonna take and dry really good. Then what you're gonna do is I'm gonna go from a a reddish brown to more of the tannish brown. I'm gonna kind of mix it in there, and then you're just gonna hit the very highlights of it. You're not gonna hit. Let's see if I can get that up in there. I try to mix it to where it's pretty close. I really like the the gentle. Um, I don't like the whole hardcore striped look. It makes the miniature um, not show as well. There you can see how the boot is right there. That's how the top of the boot is. Then you're just gonna come through edge the uh, highlights some more. When you're taking and painting like this, you want to paint the whole entire thing brown. Then you're going to go over probably two-thirds of it with a lighter brown. Then another third with a lighter brown. You don't want to take and cover over stuff that you've just done doesn't make any sense. You'll just end up covering up your work and making it to where you have to go over it again. Nobody's going to see the detail uh, if you go and paint over it over and over it again in the same way. Now this right here, you can see where I'm going to take and I'm just going to bring it right down. You see where it doesn't hit the low spots. We're only hitting the high spots on that. I'll just bring it over. Just leave it right to where it doesn't hit into the creases. If you hit it down in the creases, what'll happen is it'll there, your highlight will fall down into the creases, and it just does not look good. You can see where these are not quite blended enough. You can always take and just kind of use a wet brush, go through it, and kind of clean them up a little bit. a little bit. Like I said, I don't care for striped stuff. It kind of bothers me, but some people like it. I like the whole flowing fabric look. Like I said, this is a fast paint job here, so but it definitely gives you the idea of what we're trying to go for. Then, for like a highlight, when we're finished with it, we're going to use the lightest color we start, or we're going to end with, and we're just going to kind of brush along the edges. What that does is it'll just pick up the highlights just a little bit more than normal. Give it a little bit more of a super, super realistic look. You can even take some of your browns and go from the bottoms. Just kind of hit the bottoms and you're going to hit the bottoms and then you're going to wisp up, kind of pulling your paintbrushes away from the miniatures. It'll give it kind of a a look where, um, like on your, on your finger, you kind of come up and you pull out away from it before you go up and just keep continuing along the line of it. Same thing with the boots. You can come back through, just lightly highlight maybe the edges, just to touch it up. You know, a lot of people, they won't put three or four or five colors on the, just the boots because they don't think it's that, that important. But if you take and do, and you do that to 20 guys or 16 guys, whatever's in your unit, it makes it look so much nicer, you know. It makes it look like you really care about your, your miniatures and your painting skills. You make everybody, you know, want to play you. 
So that right there, that shows you the boots. I hope that's a good picture for you. It's about the best I can get you on this eyeball cam. Now this right here, you can see how it's kind of shiny. That's going to, of course, you know, dry out and it won't look as shiny. But it'll definitely give you an idea of what the, uh, the cape looks like. If you have any questions, get a hold of me at www.jlminiatures.com. I'd be more than glad to answer any of your emails. Continue uh, next video. I'll continue on painting uh, some more on this miniature, and hopefully we'll get it done in the next few videos so you can see, take a look and see how it's totally finished.